Hey, greetings. This is Pastor Tim. Glad you're here to join us. And I wanted this is going to be a video for volunteers for the Haven House. It used to be the 604 Project. And just want to go over some stuff here with you real quick. And first of all, I want to thank you for your volunteering here at the Haven House at the Martinsburg Union Rescue Mission. And whatever hours you can give, the Haven House is open 365 days of the year, 24-7. So whatever hours you can give. One of the questions that was asked last night at our training seminar was, well, what, Pastor Tim, what hours do you need us? Whatever hours you can give, we're open 365 days of the year, we're open 24-7. So if you can give hours in the day, in the evening, overnight, whatever hours you can give, please make sure you contact Sharon. If you haven't filled out a volunteer form yet to, to volunteer at the Haven House, here's what it looks like. You can go online, fill out the information, send it to Sharon. You can come in here to the Martinsburg Union Rescue Mission, pick one up, fill it out, send it in to Sharon, and let Sharon know the hours and the days that you can volunteer. You can maybe do volunteer once a month for two hours, maybe once a month for eight hours, maybe once a month for six hours maybe twice a, twice a week for a couple hours, whatever hours you have available, we're open 365 days of the year and 24 seven. So we'll take you whatever. We need volunteers to cover the hours at the Haven House. I wanna just share with you what the Haven House is. And the Haven House is a ministry for transitional housing for homeless families. It is located at the main rescue mission campus at 604 West King Street. There are six apartments for six families, and then there's an office. So while you're volunteering, you'll be in that office, or you will have opportunities if there's other volunteers there or staff or the case manager to help take volunteers if, if you um, uh, can drive and you're clear through our insurance. You would use our van to take families to doctor's appointments, appointments, whatever kind of appointments, helping kids get back and forth to whatever appointments they might have, job interviews for the parents, all those kind of things. Also, as we begin our discipleship track, um, we will uh, need volunteers to do that within the apartments with each family uh, every day of the week. Discipleship track will take place from Monday through Friday. What are the times? Well, with each family, the time will be different based on their availability, um, uh, aside of their uh, appointments and all the other stuff they have to go through. They'll set aside an hour of the time that will be scheduled with the case manager. And for example, if there's a mom with two kids, we would then ask two female volunteers to commit to uh, the discipleship class to teach th that mom and, two, and the two kids discipleship track. One of the female volunteers would be teaching the mom and the other female volunteer would be teaching the children. We'd have, we have material curriculum for both. You don't have to worry about any curriculum. The Martinsburg Union Rescue Mission has the curriculum for the discipleship track. It is your job to get that curriculum. At, we would give you that curriculum, and then you just follow that curriculum and teaching it. Um, if it's uh, a mom, dad, and kids, then we would ask a husband and wife team volunteer to go in there and teach that. It's going to be Monday through Friday, so you might be only be able to, to commit two days a week. So then we'd ask another uh two people to volunteer and another two people another until we have it all covered Monday through Friday to do that. The reason why they're not going to be in the main mission, we want to keep it separate because they're families. We want to keep it separate from just the, the single men. We want to keep them separate over here. Um, one of the things with each family, they're going to be required, required. Did you hear that word required to attend the local church? So we're going to be asking um, volunteers to, to connect with a family to be a church sponsor family. What that means is, is they would come in during the week or Sundays or Wednesdays or whenever church is taking place and they would come here to pick up that family and take them to church and plug them into that local church of, uh, that you attend. Uh, that is a requirement that each family goes to church every week um, and participates in a local church because we have to build the net back of community in, in a lot of these families' lives, which they have no community, that's why they're homeless and they have nothing to fall back on. So the church, we want, that is gonna be a very important part. And their relationship with Jesus Christ is a very important part. So the discipleship track and the church part, that's a requirement and we need volunteers, lots of volunteers, so we can fill that requirement. We also need volunteers to help us staff 
the Haven House. And again, we're open 365 days of the year, 24 seven. So what hours you can give. If you are a person that doesn't like to sleep a lot and stays up at night and watches a lot of television, you could probably come and give a couple hours the overnight shift or maybe the late evening shift, whatever. We're open 24 seven, 365 days of the year. And the Haven House, that's the neat thing about it is, again, we have six apartments. It's the only place that has for homeless families in Berkeley, Jefferson, and Morgan County. And it has this office that has to be manned 24 seven. Uh, a family can stay up to 18 months or less and gradually transition out into a permanent place to live and raise their family. If they have to stay past 18 months, they would meet with the caseworker to get that exception. And there's always exceptions to the rule. Wild Haven House, each family receive daily case management and all the other resources that are currently in place for all that come to the mission. The goal is to transition from homelessness and hopelessness to a new life in Christ, a permanent job, sobriety, stability, solid, loving family, relationship, a productive member of society. That's so important. Let me just share with you the rescue mission's main mission. The rescue mission's main, main purpose and reason the rescue mission exists is to fulfill the great commission uh, outlined by Jesus Christ in Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Go therefore and make disciples of all the world, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I'm with you always until the end of the age. That's it. That's what we're all about here. We don't take no government funding. Every penny comes from you, the donor, from churches, from individuals, from corporations, from private grants. We to get no government funding. Jesus Christ is the reason we exist, making disciples for Jesus. Our vision is to is to disciple individuals by equipping, educating, and empowering them to be Christ-like disciples, therefore returning them to the local church and community as productive members of society. Our motto, hope lives here. Yes, Jeremiah 29, 11. Our mission values, we have six mission values that we teach everybody and you will be teaching the same people at the Haven House. Our first mission values, we're Christ-centered. Our second one is servant leadership. Our third one is transformation of the mind and the heart out of Romans chapter 12. Our next one is stewardship. We're, we're, we're good stewards with everything we get because we get no government funding. Everything is from God and everything is God. It, God is the owner of everything and we are his stewards. Excellence. We strive to provide excellent services, achieve results, impact our community, be innovative and collaborative in our approach and honor. We give honor to people. We give honor and blessings to people. We set them up for success, not for failure. I just want to share with you as you come in, though, that there's this 17-page um, or 18-page intake form. You'll be trained how to do this form. It's very easy. Any If you're volunteering and there's no permanent staff on there, um, a, per, a family comes in, you will have them fill out these forms. We'll teach you how to do that. It's real simple. And they sign everything before they're assigned an apartment. They do not get any apartments until they fill out this form completely and sign everything in here. That will be shown to you, and it's real easy. Again, if you haven't filled out a volunteer form, do that. Please, please, we need as much help as we can get um, in taking care of the Haven House and the families that come in there. Again, we're open 365 days of the year, 24-7. You're going to ask me, Pastor Tim, what times do you need volunteers? every hour of the day, every day of the week, every day of the year. Whenever you can give time, whether it's an hour, two hours, eight hours, six hours, 10 hours, two days, three days, whatever you can give, we'll take. But we need you to fill out a volunteer form first. That's a requirement. You cannot volunteer unless you fill one of these out. And then you would contact Sharon with your, with, with your information of times and dates that you can serve. God bless you. We can't do this without you, folks. We don't have all the money it, it would take to staff that place 24-7, 365. We're trying to be good stewards with the money God has given us, and we need volunteers to help us staff it, oversee it, teach discipleship track, and take people and plug them into a local church and introduce them to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. That's what we're about here, folks. God bless you, and you'll have an opportunity to serve kids and their families. Uh, you can, if 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 it's a mom and and, a, and single and a single mom and kids, a volunteer is the female. You can go up in the apartment. You can help the mom with life skills, all those things. If it's a mom and dad and kids, the dad and uh, a husband and wife can go in and help them with life skills. Life skills going to be key. 
how to do laundry, how to do this, how to do that. Get the kids, uh, the kids have to be bathed every night and washed and showered and clothes and get them ready for school. All these things, all the natural routine things that we do that are normal for many people that are homeless, they're going to have to be retaught and retaught and retaught and trained and trained and trained until it becomes normal in their lives. It's a process, folks. We need discipleship makers. Do you want to be a discipleship maker today? Call a mission. Seek us online, martinsburgunionrescuemission.com. Hit the volunteer button. Volunteer today. We need disciple makers. Are you one? God bless you, Pastor Tim. Next time.